Mr. Mitch ELSS lawyers included Thomas C. Goldstein, a prominent Supreme Court litigator. That prompt action if this court declines to resolve this question immediately and instead determines several months in the future that Mr. Whitaker's appointment was always invalid, Mr. Goldstein wrote, then unwinding all of those personal orders would be a fraught and disruptive exercise that could embroil the federal courts in innumerable collateral disputes. Solicitor General Noel J. Francisco wrote that Mr. Whitaker's appointment was lawful and that a motion to change the name of the case was a procedural gambit that the justices should reject. Barry strengthens to hurricane. Storm surge fee As natives and tourists in the Big Easy, Baton Rouge and other heavily populated areas in the storm's path hunkered down or wandered through quiet, emptied streets waiting for the worst. The coast rescued more than a dozen people from the flooded remote island of Isle de Jean Charles. Water on the island video showed water overtopping a levee in Plaquemines Parish, a finger of land extending deep into the Gulf of Mexico, downstream from New Orleans. Officials were still very had strengthened into a Category 1 hurricane by Saturday morning, with maximum sustained winds of 75 mph 120 km per hour, the National Hurricane Center said. Storms become her officials predicted a would make landfall as this year's first hurricane Saturday morning near Morgan City, west of New Orleans, where a curfew has been set until 6 a.m. in a long day, started with on and off rain, power outages, and people using cell phones to see in the dark and opening doors and windows to let the warm, sticky tropical air circulate. More than 70,000 customers were without power Saturday morning including 66,830 in Louisiana and 3,140 in Mississippi, according to. Though expected to be a weak hurricane, Barry threatened disastrous flooding across a swath of the Gulf Coast. By Saturday morning, during a storm update through Facebook Live, Graham pointed to a computer screen showing a huge, swirling mess of airborne water. That. The rains inundated the remote Isle de Jean Charles, about 45 miles 72 kilometers south of New Orleans. Coast Guard Rescue Ferry was moving so slowly, it was likely that heavy rain would continue throughout the weekend across Louisiana, Graham said. There were predictions, water was flowing over a levee in Point Celeste in Plaquemines Parish, Light. Government. Slideshow by Photo Services. Governors declared emergencies in Louisiana and Mississippi, and authorities took unprecedented precautions in closing floodgates and raising the barriers around New Orleans. Government Rescue crews and about 3,000 National Guard troops were posted around Louisiana with boats, high-water vehicles and helicopters. President Donald Trump There was one piece of good news late Friday night. Forecasters said the Mississippi River was expected to crest in New Orleans at about 17.1 feet 5.2 meters on Monday, not 19 feet 5.8 meters as had been earlier predicted. The levees protect on again, off again rain hit New Orleans overnight. As day broke, so. Baton Rouge, which was devastated by floods in 2016, was similarly quiet Saturday, with puddles left from overnight rains wind shaking the trees and only a few cars and trucks on thoroughfare Interstate 10. In Alabama, authorities told at least 10,000 people in exposed, low-lying areas along the Gulf Coast to leave, but no evacuations were ordered in New Orleans, where officials urged residents to shelter. Before they did, people packed stores to stock up on bottled water, food, and other essentials. Lifelong New Orleans resident Terence Watkins grabbed supplies at a Costco. He said he has a f Associated Press reporters Rebecca Santana in New Orleans and Sarah Blake Morgan in New Orleans. Jay Reeves in Bat. Search for location slash city.